All right, let us continue our investigation. I was presenting stuff. I presented that. I think I was gonna present the magazine, right? Because she had nothing to say about this. About this here, hmm, let me see. Oh, she's an immaterial girl. Right, right. Occult, New Year's issue, occult magazine, right. About this picture. Well, look at that. I look pretty as to the exe, don't you think? Right. Um, uh, y yeah, absolutely. Up until recently, we have avoided exposure in such magazines. But this time, we had our reasons. What? Is that so? For example, ha 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 ha. Well, why deny the world the sight of such a lovely face? I think the lion. What about this word? Oh. How could such a terrible thing have happened? You know she's the master. It's all, it's all, it's all my fault. Well, come on, lady. I don't think you need to take all the blame yourself. Quiet! What do you know anyway? Ouch! You're scary. With that stupid five o'clock shadow and that stupid old coat of yours. It's too bad that you weren't the one that disappeared. Wow! Why does she have to take it all out on me? Yeah, poor Gumshoe, man. Her anger does seem a little manufactured. Did you kill the lady? Where's the day died? You know about this? I'm about this here. Hmm, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We strive to break our attachments to much of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immaterial girl. I guess she lives in an immaterial world, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? Maybe she dropped it. Iris, salutations. There's something I must talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you tonight at 10, Heavenly Hall. Unless your secret is to be exposed. What do you know about this? Do you know anything about this old, crumpled up letter? Hmm. Is that addressed to Iris? Yep, it clearly says two iris on it. I can't believe it. That girl doesn't have any secrets from me. Ah, so Sister Bikini didn't know anything about it. Phoenix hmm. right. This man. His face betrays a life of suffering and great weariness of the world. Um, sure. But, even so, I can't believe this guy actually jumped into the river. Think of all the fun things he might have enjoyed if he had just lived. He did live. Relentless spiritual training alone is no way to lead a complete life, huh? Hmm. It sounds like she's got some major regrets she's dealing with. Hmm, perhaps I should let Gumshoe explain right situation to her for me. Hey, don't look at me like that. Do your own dirty work, sir. We, just, we did not tell her that he's alive. Okay, take Gumshoe. I'm um, about this year. Immaterial girl. Okay. It's a material world and I'm a material girl. That's the saying, right? My friends in grade school. No laddy buts. This is Mystic Elise's apprentice, is it not? I think he might have a bit of a crush on me. Sweet boy at any rate. Doubt it. Huh? Oh, I don't blame him. Sister Bikini understands the temptations of young men. Sure. But I am afraid it wouldn't be proper to abuse my position. I am head nun after all. Shit. But in return, I did allow him to draw a portrait of me. Where is it? I pray it was a pose that maintained your modesty. 
for everyone's sake. Great. Elise ducks in a Oh, how could everything happen? It's all my fault. Why? What do you know anyway? Ouch. And then he's gonna, he's gonna start degrading him. Take it all out on me. Her anger is manufactured. We have Iris. No spiritual power, apparently. You said you went with Maya to the training t hall in the inner temple last night. You did say that. Did you happen to see Iris while you were there? Of course I saw her. I told her to meet us after ringing the 10 o'clock bell for lights out. So you're saying Iris came to the inner temple then? Of course she did. Iris has always been a good obedient girl. Uh, wrong? I think I think you're lying. Because she went to the heavenly hall probably. After that I had Iris help Mystic Maya begin her training. Really? But that doesn't fit with Iris' story at all. She said that she never went to the inner temple. She was too scared of something. As they say, the plot thickens. Does. That's what Iris, what about Gadot? She doesn't know anything about Gadot, right? Yeah. She has not even met him. She doesn't know him. And none. A channeling dojo. He discovered the murder. It's all my fault. Me and my stupid back. Mystic Elise has been murdered and an important acolyte is trapped. And a little girl has been lost. Lost? You know, you really shouldn't be so negative. It creates bad karma. Right. Quite right. I need to do some more training myself, I think. Right. She blames herself and the crime. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. Sure. You must be talking about Maya. Yep. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about 9 when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojo's head nun must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. <laughs> Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here and left Maya there? Hmm. The way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. Ha 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 ho ho. Answer the question. Uh, I am starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. Ho ho! You get the chills pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, what, what, why did you return? What did you see? Alright then, I'd like to tell you, I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. Must have been past 11. Ah, no, I can't say it. it it's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down lady, L let go of my tie. Saw her stabbing, okay. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. That, that does look like her, kinda. That def top one is definitely uh what's her name? Cricket What's her name? Someone is Iris uh, definitely Iris killing a lease, it does look like it. The the other one was stabbing her from the back. With a sword. Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. But it was Iris. With the seventh headed sword. You 
must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. It would be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of a courtroom. Incredible. And I happened to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked too. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed and then I passed out. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Even she was channeling someone. Unnatural. The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. Maybe it was Maya who was channeling, got channeled by someone, lost control? I don't know. Why return? So. As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. A bad lower back. Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall and left her in the sleeping water unattended. Incredible. So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. You left Iris there. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? So did this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I'd better try to get some more details. Yep, the acolyte. So who is this acolyte that was to train at the inner temple? Her name is Maya Fay. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. Uh, and after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. Don't mean to tell me that she's still doing that over at the inner temple, do you? No, no, no. Of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. What the hell? Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. What? Uh-oh. I don't think I like the sound of this. You know that small girl? I believe she is Mystic Maya's little sister. Yeah? Maya has a little sister? Yep, she does. Pearl. Oh, you mean little Pearl? That's Maya Faye's cousin. Little Pearl. I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we'd finished with dinner cleanup. But I haven't seen her at all since last night. Late last night. She's nowhere to be found. Yep. Elise was looking for her. Yeah, you mean she... she was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back. A little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. Unless... Pearl started channeling someone. Yeah, 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 and then Pearl turned into that person and then killed Elise, maybe. And now she's gone. As they say, the plot thickens. Great. Thickening, doesn't it? Hey, do you know about this? Oh. 
The bats, the Megadama, Cypher Treasure. Not you're a big fan. Okay, I thought maybe she was hiding something. Does not seem like it. Okay, but she is definitely lying. Now is she lying because she's just being lazy and doesn't wanna didn't actually wanna stay there the whole time? February 8th, Hasakura Temple Main Gate. I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with a number of psycho locks. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn in my side. And the time is right. Did I go to the courtyard last time? Suspension bridge. Send to him this note to Iris that we got. It's new. Look, I'm just your everyday simple detective. Don't ask me such tough questions, okay? That's not something to be proud of, detective. He does not care. Oh, we have Pearl now in the list. Oh, and Maya. Went to the inner temple for spiritual training and is now trapped there. Maya. I wonder if Maya is alright. I could never show my face to write again if something were to happen to her. Aw, it'll be okay. If that ever happens, you can just show him my face. Great. How's that? Hmm. Ack! Um, I didn't mean it like that, sir. It was just a silly little joke. I wonder if there is another way to get across to the other side. The support wires for the bridge are still intact, correct? That bridge is almost 20 yards long. I know I may look like it, Mr. Edgeworth, but I am no superhero. In any case, I just hope Maya is alright. Yeah. Maya's cousin was apparently with the victim at the time of the crime, currently missing. What about Pearl? Has no one seen her at all since last night? Seems that way. Apparently, she hasn't gone back to Korean village either, sir. But it's true that she was with Elise Duxnam at some point last night. No doubt about it. Alright. Ah! Yeah, you mean that maybe whoever killed Miss Duknam also kidnapped her? D don't jump to any crazy conclusions. Oh! You sure have one mean punch, Mr. Edgeworth. It's downright fierce. Right. Uh, nothing new to examine here, I suppose. All this way. Can I go to Heavenly Hall? I can go to the uh, detention center though. What's up here? February 8th. Detention center visitor's room. She's questioning. Yep. It looks like Iris is being interrogated right now. This place certainly brings back memories. Oh yeah. Come to think of it, you got thrown in here once too, didn't you sir? But you know what? I have never been in jail a single time. I should think it's hard to land in jail when you're so harmless. Yes, well... If you're in jail, you don't have to pay for your own meals, you know. Great. Ah, cat. Hmm. Don't get any funny ideas, detective. Too late. I already did. In any case, I guess I'll have to come back here later. Come back later. Stop. That camera is meant to monitor everything that happens in here. And right now it's pointed straight at the guard. He's the only one in here, so I guess you monitor the guard. The guard is staring at me with a puzzled expression on his face. I mean, no one's here. Me. And the badge on my lapel. I get the feeling he recognizes me. 
Let's get out of here then. <laughs> Before he does remember who I am. Main gate. In hall. We can present to her the faces of the two people as well. We can present to her Maya. She's a very important visitor, you know. An honored acolyte. Honored? How so? The Fae name is synonymous with the Korean channeling technique. Therefore, she must be a spirit medium of great power indeed. Now that you mention it, one year ago, there was a case that was about the master of the Korean channeling technique. Detective. I detest talk of supernatural drivel. I suppose now you'll say she has mini-chlorians, great Star Wars. Ho ho ho! So it gives you the creeps, huh Mr. Edgeworth? That's got nothing to do with it. Because of the, the his father thing, you know. Oh, this poor girl. Where could she have gone? Well, we checked out her home and she's not there. And she is nowhere in the vicinity of the temple either. Which means... There's only a few other possibilities as to where she could be. Is she in Wright's office? Ah, do you think maybe she, she fell off the bridge and was carried downstream? Probably not. Why do you have to be such a pessimist, detective? Nah. I was just trying to think like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ironic. I became a pessimist only after I had the pleasure of working with you. So mean to the poor guy. Courtyard. Oh, that's, that's a lot of blood there. Although the sword is in her hand. February 8th. Hasakura Temple Courtyard. It's in the statue's hand. How could the... Hmm. Can the hand move up and down? And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, detective. I'll just have a look around. It looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really gonna defend that nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word and now I must follow through with my commitment. Well, in that case, I've gotta be careful. Gotta make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. He does that from time to time. Don't worry about a detective. Just keep your mouth closed and I think most of it will flow out on its own. Great. You got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Y yes. You do that, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? Oh, he's leaked everything, bro. He's, he's leaked it all. Ain't nothing he hasn't leaked. Yo, look at this. The main gate must be just over that stone wall. Why is there a ladder? Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Hmm. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of paucity of words. What? And what about the ladder conversation? Ah, I just love skiing. Really? You don't um, seem like the type. Well, what about sleds? Sleds? Nah, they are a little too kiddie, you know? Messes with my hard boiled image. Hmm. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, is the world starting to go mad? Why? Because he likes skiing? What's this? 
the main hall of Hasakura Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right. But I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. We are lower. Hasakura Temple was built on a steep part of the mountain. The front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, that makes sense. But wouldn't it be easier just to build the place slanted, sir? Incredible. I fail to see how we can consider that to be an even remotely good idea. And the build it slanted, bro. Nothing goes wrong. What's this? The lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight. Because you haven't paid the electric bill? Detective. Can you not afford to pay your ele electricity bill? How did you know? Man, this guy needs some more money, bro. Broken thing. What's this? It looks like a wizard stuff, and the jigging gem is gone. That belonged to the victim, Miss Elise Duxnam. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah, listen, this is just between us, okay sir? Yes, what? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. Alright. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. Incredible. Incredible. Top secret. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? That's it. This staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Victim staff added to the court record, carried by Elise Tuxnam when she was alive, has her fingerprints on it. That fingerprints, her fingerprints make a lot of sense, of course they would be. So the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. It sure is. It's called a Pichichito, by the way. Nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood? Yep, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade... There are fingerprints all over the hilt of the... Pichichito, too. Fingerprints. Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. That's pretty bad. Her fingerprints are on the murder weapon? Hmm. What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Yep. Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. Kishito added to the court record. The apparent murder weapon has the victim's blood and the suspect's fingerprints on it. Suspect's fingerprints, I mean, maybe she was cleaning the damn thing at some point. She probably was, right? You gotta clean it. Did I miss this place when I was here? I don't know. You'd probably say the same shit, right? Huh? What's that thing on your lapel? Is it that odd? You bet it is. License to kill? Okay. They haven't shown him the staff. Now, if you look at the staff, look at the freaking giant purple gem. But there is a purple gem, bro. Has a fingerprint on it, sure. Oh, so I think I might have already told you about this, but the truth is, when I was a little kid, you wanted to become a wizard, right? I know. Hey, that's amazing! How did you know that? You told me. So, what do you think? I'd make a really great one, don't you think? 
He just had this conversation a little while ago, detective. Yep. Baron murder weapon. This sword represents the multiple branches that life can take, all ending as one. Hmm. I have never heard that one. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life would I have had if I hadn't joined the homicide division? So you think about that kind of thing too, huh? Of course I do. I think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop, me as a retention officer, me as the blue badger, so he wants police for sure. I guess he doesn't have any plans uh, yeah. to leave the force. Yep, anything in the force. Uh, present some stuff to her. What do you know about this staff that she was carrying? About the, oh, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. What about the sword? It's your sword. You don't know about the sword? It's your job to know about the dang sword, bro. Alright, let's talk, buddy. Unless there is uh, any person? No, there is. Okay, let's talk. The victim. The victim is the, is the famous picture book author, Miss Elise Duxnam. Her entire past, up until she won that writing award last year, is a total mystery. It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 pm on February 7th. Cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon. The victim was found skewered by with a giant sword, sir. That's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. Sir. The bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. Really? A two-story building? That would be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe the sword was... was lying there. Then she fell backwards onto it. That's not weird. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. That just happens to be the room that Elise Dukhinam was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed by the sword? Elise's autopsy report added to the court record. Time 10 to 11 pm. Cause loss of blood from stab in the back. Body fell 10 feet after death. Okay. Fell after death. What happened? Now then, detective. Let's see if we can summarize what we have learned so far. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. See the four supports are still there. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, right after they had finished dinner, she and Maya Fe headed to the inner temple. Right? Boom, they went to the inner temple, it did include animation. At 10 pm, after ringing the bell for lights out, Iris went to the inner temple. Here, cross the bridge, inner temple. When she got there, Bikini had her take over while she went back to Hazakura temple. Yep, went back. In the courtyard. Oh, after taking a hot bath to soothe her back. Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. Maybe she saw the statues having already stabbed her. Although, how did it happen? That is weird. 
If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. The inner temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. How come Mr. Gum the Gumpudot is not here yet? Tomorrow's trial. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Gadot guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defending, he just lost interest. Well, I intend to appear in court in the role of defense attorney. However, it would be quite an I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I am actually a prosecutor. If it came out, okay. Yeah, I can see why, but I am not the one you have to worry about. Do you want to say? I think the real problem is gonna be that judge. Well, the judge is not that smart. Basically. Alright. The judge. The judge was fooled by a paper badge worn by someone who did not look like right at all. But whatever. It's... Yes. He certainly would remember my face. Even after such a long absence. That's why I requested that another judge preside over the trial tomorrow. Oh. We've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. The Canadian judge? Y yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Great. Incredible. So apparently we just set everything up for us. Inner temple. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the acolytes. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Okay, nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kinda like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. I heard, I hear it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Maya is right there. Please be alright, Maya. Yep. You better hope so. I mean, there's nothing left for me to do. Right, everything is examined and asked for. So I'm guessing something has changed outside, because otherwise there's nothing to do. Main all. To talk about. What about the autopsy report? Nope, she's an immaterial girl. In an immaterial world. Something's new, but something new has to have happened. Maybe the main gate? Nope, maybe at the bridge. Okay, maybe she is back. She is back. February 8, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Yep, she's back. Hello. Ah, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I... I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I am on your side. You can tell me anything. Yes. Th thank you. Hi. We have seen everything here. Can 
talk about the inner temple also by you frightened and then we have stuff to present i'll present everything to her again including all the people maybe but we'll do that in the next one because it's late so you go old fashioned save and then back and then and then i'll see you in the next one